Welcome to MacBook Lessons, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today we are going to be talking about iBooks Author. And you'll notice with the lovely background noise that I am in Austin, Texas, sitting at the Texas Computer Educators Association Conference, enjoying my time learning about technology. So to get started today, we're going to go to the App Store. So if you'll click on the App Store, your iTunes will pull up and you're going to do a search for iBooks Author up here in the search window. Now I'm going to tell you we may have some uh, issues with the internet so I may not be able to pull this up but I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyways. Once you uh, download iBooks Author, you are going to um, be able to, or once you put iBooks Author in here, you're going to click to purchase it and you're going to have to put in your Apple ID but once you do, it's going to download and it'll show up in your applications folder. So you're going to go to the finder window and you'll notice, and I left this like this because I wanted you to see that I am missing my applications folder. And I know we discussed this in one of our earlier uh, inter, uh, sorry, movies, but uh, if you go ahead and, and go to the finder up here and you do preferences, You'll notice that you have all the things available to you on the sidebar. I'm missing application, so I'm going to go ahead and check it, and you'll notice it shows up over here. It is under the Macintosh HD as well, but I want to be able to click right to it, so I'm going to go right here into applications. So now that I'm in applications, I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to see if I can find iBooks Author. And there it is. So it is not in my dock yet. So I want to take it down there. And all I'm doing right now is basically reviewing some of the older videos that you may have seen. So if you grab it and you drag it down, put it, and once you see the water's part, you can drop it in and it'll stay right there in your dock. So we can close this now and we're going to go down and click on iBooks Author. Once I open iBooks Author, I now have the opportunity to choose a format that I would like and I can start creating my document. So that's the basic introduction on how to get iBooks Author loaded on your computer. I hope that that helps you get started and I look forward to meeting with you again in a few days.